let's say you were not safe and you use the same password in 10 different services and some other hacker goes into the Celsius uh, system, do downloads a, an app, tries to log in as you because they know your email and password. Yeah. What happens? Give, yeah. give people an example. So on login or on interaction with the app, we check 20 parameters regarding your IP, are you surfing through VPNs, are you surfing through the Tor Onion network, uh, do you have 2FA, uh, is your email, uh, does it appear in data leaks, does it appear in the ledger leak, for example, and stuff like that, various other incidents that are happening and uh, these databases are out there. So on login, we, we rank and score the risk, and then according to the score, uh, we decide if to let the login uh, in or block or challenge response. So this uses, again, various risk scores, risk parameters, uh, and machine learning, uh, and it helps us streamline the interaction. And of course, if there's something external, your email appeared in a leak, or your social identity, again, uh, has sensitive information regarding uh, other services that you use and stuff like that that have been leaked, uh, that affects the risk score and also our and our decision uh, if to delay the login, challenge response the login and topics. Right. Like that. So, so I have a lot of people with uh, customers who ping me because you know they all have my email, CEO at Celsius.network. And they're like, my account is frozen. How come it's frozen? And I'm and I do a quick search and I'm like your email and your password are all over the dark net. You know, like are you, yeah. you're, not, you're an irresponsible person. You're lucky that our system is smart enough to block it immediately. So brute force attempts, when you see brute force attempts, right? People, hackers using that information, which was stolen from somebody completely different, may have been even stolen from BlockFi because the same person has been using BlockFi and Celsius. What happens when the same person is trying, the same hacker, is trying to steal from Celsius. Yeah, so these are really databases that we look into uh, using cyber threat intelligence. We look at these leaks and then understand and warn you and give awareness to the client that this your email has been used in other data leaks and, and it's a concern, yeah? Or you're at risk because uh, these services have been compromised and such and uh, or your credentials are out there or you're a target of social engineering. And again, these are the key things, various services that have been leaked. Uh, they have all your emails. They'll start targeting you step by step. You won't notice it. It won't be right. as blunt and direct as a direct message on an Instagram or, or Telegram. Yeah, they'll do it behind the scenes. Right, so, and because we, we protect your money, we have to take much more severe measures than many of the other platforms that you might be using because you might be using the same uh, password for your Gmail or for your Yahoo account or whatever. They don't bother. They don't, they're not going to notify you that, hey, you know, somebody's brute forced uh, uh, trying to steal your stuff. So, so when you see anything blocked on Celsius and we tell you that it's because uh, you were compromised, that usually means that you need to go to all of your other services, including your bank accounts or whatever, anywhere you're using the same login, the same password, which is obviously a very bad idea to do that, but most of us are lazy and do that. You gotta go and change it right away because basically hackers are very good at identifying social patterns and understanding, okay, here are the, the there's a high probability that this person has a Citibank account or this person uh, or they already got into your computer and they know exactly what you're using because you you saved statements on local drives or you have pictures of your your information. So all these things, again, when we take proactive action and you know you've been targeted, usually it means that your your identity already has been stolen. Yeah. And just the last point on that topic to complete that talking technology and such here and this this is proven regarding customer support and also the security team, but I'm talking regarding the security group, the, the human touch here is important, meaning when we see these things, we'll write to the client, uh, refresh your 2FA, add 2FA, verify that you have 2FA on your personal email, uh, change your email because your email appears in all these leaks. And this, uh, this personal touch, yeah, the security personal touch, 
uh, will continue. Again, now we're hundreds of thousands of clients and when we get to the millions, the millions, I can promise you again that this human touch will continue because the awareness is key. Uh, we have our controls on our side protecting your assets, but it's also important that you keep your social media profile, your email, your security hygiene uh, clean and, and secure.